But we get down there in that bottom with them and all that brush and you know, you're playing peekaboo with them. And sneaking and from bush to bush. Fighting focus on the camera. I can make a million excuses, but the, the truth was it, just, it didn't matter because he never got one in his sights anyway. No, it didn't. It just didn't happen and they snuck out of there. We, we looked for them, went up on another high point trying to find where they went. We just couldn't find them. Judd knows, he knows he's deer. I mean, like I said, I've, I've already said this, but I'll reiterate it. They are free range, come and go when they want. But we were we were going down through there and Judd's got an eye like a freaking eagle. You know, and we spotted some axis way off and got to looking through the binoculars and, and sure enough, it was a good one in the bunch. And yeah. Judd knew where they were heading. We just come from another property and come back in here where we were. We were just in here this morning. And I can tell you what, folks, look at this guy here. Remember that face and remember this name, Judd Martin from Martin Hollow Outfitters. He has some world-class axis deer. I wanted a full velvet buck. Judd said you come down here in March, they're almost tipped out, but look how this thing marbles. I'll get Max, he'll, we'll get a close up of this thing, but man, I am tickled to death. And I just want to thank Judd and uh, for letting me and Max come down. Uh, we're gonna do a little turkey hunting too, but I just don't know what to say, man. I just thank the good Lord for letting me get out and do this. And, and man, we made some new friends this weekend camp. And uh, I just thank y'all for sharing it with us. I'm just I'm just tickled to death. I'm almost lost for words, man. I've been wanting to kill one of these for years. Well, I'm glad y'all got to come.